Hello, my friends, and welcome to Mimi's Home and Garden. You all know how much I love thrift store and antique hunting, and I found these glass domes that are used on a flounder light for flounder gigging. I live near the coast, so I knew exactly what these were from, and I picked up four of them at a local junk store, and I've got them all cleaned up, ready to use, and we're going to make a cloche with these. That is where you place a glass dome over some type of object on a wooden base. And here are the materials that I used in this project. Of course, there's the glass dome. I've cleaned it all up, washed it, cleaned it with some window cleaner. I picked up a silk bird. I made some dough eggs using bread dough and glue. I've got some moss from the Dollar Tree and some spray glue from the Dollar Tree and then a wooden base. I paid 99 cent for this at the thrift store. So I'm just going and I want to make sure it fits. I've got one size a little bit bigger, so this was five by five. I'm going to give it a good sanding. And then I'm going to just use a water base um, stain that I already had and kind of stain that to make it look really nice and aged. So this I picked up at Walmart and I've still got a little bit left in it, enough to do two bases. And you just paint it on. It's the Waverly brand. I picked this up at Walmart. And then you just coat it very well. Then once the whole piece is coated, you just take a paper towel and kind of wipe off the excess. And that's all there is to it. Now I did not add any um, finish to this. I just left it kind of natural, but it does make the wood look so pretty. Now, while the base is drying, I'm going to go ahead and make the bird's nest just using some Spanish moss. It's very easy to do. I just cup it in my hands, pressing it together. As you can see, just using two fingers and I got keep checking the globe to make sure I don't have it too big then once I get it to the size I pretty much want you just spray on some spray glue and that will help it to hold its shape so after I spray that on I just hold it in place and then I'm gonna let that sit overnight ready to dry now I want to share with you how easy it is to make bread dough roses because I'm going to use some of these tiny roses on this project. You're just going to need some Eileen's Tacky Glue, some white bread, and some acrylic paint. Now I used to make these all the time back in the 1980s, um, these bread dough roses, and they're so easy to make and so much fun. It's been years since I've done this, but you just break your bread up into little pieces and then pour on one tablespoon of the Aline's Tacky Glue. And I think you do need to use this glue. I've never tried it with any other glue, but the, the bread dough comes out to be nice and hard and look like porcelain. Then I'm just mixing up a pink color and you just take your fingers and mix this in. It is a little messy and a little sticky, but you just work the glue and the paint into that bread then you'll get a nice dough now i want a little bit more paint so i'm just adding a little bit more paint and mixing it with my fingers now once i get it all kind of mixed together and formed into a ball i'll set it down and go wash my hands and then spray my hands with some olive oil and then i can work the ball the ball without the stickiness sticking to my hands Okay, I've rubbed my hands with some olive oil spray and you can see now it doesn't stick to my hands. And I wanna make sure that that collar is worked all through the dough. So I just keep kneading it with my fingers. And I did go back and add a little bit more acrylic paint just to make them a little bit darker. Now I keep that dough warm and kind of in my hands. I don't want it to dry out. And here's the process for making the roses. I'll just let you watch. You pinch out a little piece for the middle of the flower and you just roll it up like that. There's your little bud. Now you pinch off another piece and we're gonna make a petal. 
So you can see I'm pressing this out and then I'm just going to roll down one edge and then just wrap it around the bud. Then I'm going to take another piece, do the same thing, kind of thin it out with my fingers and roll down the edge and just keep adding these petals around and around the bud. And you notice I'm keeping the dough in my hand. That's just to keep it warm and keep it from drying out. Now I've been making these for years and years, so I'm, I'm kind of fast. And you can see some that I've already made on the plate. And we used to put these on, we used to make little girls hair bows for craft sh shows. We'd make earrings. Um, I made Christmas ornaments. Um, little lace fans and then glue one of these roses for Christmas trees there's just so many things you can do you can glue them on the treasure boxes but one piece of the bread dough makes a lot of roses and the ones I'm going to be using in this project are the little tiny bread dough roses so sometime just sit down and practice it's a lot of fun making these and this is what I use to make those little tiny bird eggs now, back to the project, I'm adding some hot glue to the wooden base. Then I cut some styrofoam to fit underneath that globe. And I'm just going to be adding on some moss, green moss. So I just take my glue gun, put some glue on it to hold everything in place. Now you can see I've got the whole wooden sphere um, covered with that moss and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now I went outside and picked out a little stick from a tree and then I'm just hot gluing on three of the little tiny roses that I made. And then I set the bird nest in that little nook in the tree. I'm going to remove that clip from this um, robin add some glue to her and then just position her on the nest. Now I did go back and trim down the stick a little bit closer to the moss so it would fit under the dome. But that's basically it. There's the sweet little bird. She is kind of big but I could not find any really small birds but it turned out fine. And then now I'm just going to carefully slip over the cloche over the bird using my finger to position her and just to make it fit. Now you can add a little bit of glue to the bottom of this to hold that glass in place, but there's the finished product. I think it turned out really cute and I love birds. Now for my sister's birthday tomorrow, I made her one, but I used these very lifelike looking butterflies. And so hers has some ivy, the same greenery, and then I just tucked in one butterfly inside the jar and one on the outside. And I think it turned out so nice. So I hope you enjoyed this and got some good ideas of what you can do with thrift store treasures. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoyed the Doe Rose tutorial. Y'all have a very blessed day.